Hi, I'm Dr. Dalal. I'm one of the physician at Kansas Pain Management. I just performed a lumbar transforaminal epidural steroid injection. I'm seeing patient today at our Leavenworth location. So let's talk about lumbar epidural steroid injection. Most common uh, indication of doing a lumbar epidural steroid injection is when patient has low back pain and it's radiating down two legs. It's called radiculitis, radiculopathy, or radicular pain. And most commonly it happens when patient has a herniated disc. These are the discs, it's herniating and pinching this nerve or pressing the nerve. Or patient has a stenosis in the foramen, which is either irritating, causing inflammation, or pinching the nerve. This procedure is done under fluoroscopic guidance or under x-ray. And there are two approaches. One is called intralaminar epidural steroid, and other one is called transforaminal epidural steroid injection. In the intralaminar ep uh, epidural steroid injections, we place the needle in between the spinous process, advances with the X-ray guidance until we reach the epidural space. In the transforaminal epidural steroid, we place the needle slightly angle and bring it in the foramen close to the nerve. The nerves are coming off of the spinal canal. Both procedures are done under x-ray and both approaches work. Your provider choose one of these approach based on the, your symptoms and based on MRI finding. We inject steroid with or, with or without numbing medications. There are more advanced procedures available which we can discuss during consultation.